Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of What You Mean Gaming. Today, I'm going to be talking about exclusive games for Xbox One. Um, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because, if you could see at the lo at the uh, at the lower at the bottom of the screen, uh, there's a picture of Master, uh, Master Chief, and they had this on the Xbox website uh, with all the exclusive games. And if you can see right there, it says Halo for Xbox One, and then under it says exclusively on Xbox One. And when I saw this, I got really, really pissed because uh, X uh, was it Microsoft uh, is releasing a new Xbox, Xbox One, of course, and they're still supporting the Xbox 360. And the reason why I'm probably not going to get Xbox One. Because I'm all because I'm a Halo person, but I'm also a Call of Duty person. I'm I'm a I'm I like all games, uh, FPS, uh, MMOs, first person shoot first person shooters, but Halo is one of the biggest franchises that uh, in my book that I play, and I'm really pissed because I'm not getting I'm not gonna get the Xbox One just for. Halo 5, and if anybody played Halo 4, um, a lot of people didn't enjoy it. I, I was one of the people that really didn't enjoy, I did not enjoy Halo 4. The system was horrible. The way the, that they, that they had the outline of the multiplayer was just god awful. The only thing I'm ex excited for is for the Champion Bundle DLC, which is only 800 Microsoft points. That's the only thing that I'm excited for for Halo f uh, for Halo 4. I'm not getting and I'm not getting Xbox One just for this game. If it's gonna suck even more, in my opinion, I think Halo 5. If it's gonna go the way that Halo 4 went, I'm not talking about the story. The story was great. The multiplayer just sucked ass. And if it's gonna be if it's gonna suck, if the multiplayer's gonna suck, I'm not getting Xbox One, and I'm not gonna get Xbox One uh, just for this franchise and just for other exclusive games that Xbox C is not gonna be able to have. And the only reason I'm gonna be keeping uh, the Xbox 360 is for Payday 2, and some probably and for Call of Duty Ghost and Machinima reasons. That's really just it. But I just can't depend on one game. For me to buy a five hundred dollar fucking exclusive uh, console, and I'm I'm not doing that shit. I'm not wasting my money on this franchise, and I know that's what Microsoft wants to do because they're assholes, and that's what they're good at, and they don't care about the consumer at all. So I'm just gonna stick to 360, and you know, if it only has seven more years, fuck that. Then I'll stop being a gamer on Xbox. I'll go to PC. Uh, I, I just can't take this bullshit anymore, you know. Until they lower the prices of games and consoles, I'm not buying fucking Xbox One or any, you know, any other game. But I, I'm still going to get games for the Xbox 360, you know. But, you know, it's not like, uh, it's, it's just, it's just a very bad way that they're marketing uh, Xbox One when there's new games coming out for the Xbox 360 that no one's going to get the chance to buy unless if they keep two consoles in their household or probably more because they probably have like the Wii U, the Wii or PS3 or P uh, or any other console but uh seriously if Microsoft keeps on doing this I'm just going to go with a fucking PS4 because PS4 might have a better deal on this shit than than fucking Microsoft cuz Microsoft doesn't care about the consumer it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I uh, hope everybody has a nice day. Peace out.